Sammamish Plateau water discovered years ago that there were forever chemicals in its water supply. And while they didn't cause the problem, it's on them to clean it up. They say they've been working on plans for years, but today's announcement brings some clarity. The district has been working on plans for years on a new treatment facility to filter forever chemicals out of its water and says it's happy to hear the EPA has made an official determination. The rules limit PFAS to a number close to the lowest detectable level. When we originally started design of the treatment facility, um, our intent was to be able to treat water so that you couldn't detect PFAS. So we will be able to meet those EPA standards. The challenge now is to get government partners to agree to final plans and issue permits so building can begin. SBW has secured grants for about 60% of the $20 million project, but will have to pass on some of the costs to customers. It's unfortunate that our ratepayers are having to fund something of this nature because they didn't cause this contamination. But the goal is to comply with the standard, ensure we have safe drinking water and um, have this facility operational before the effective date of the EPA standard. Recent studies have shown unsafe levels of PFAS or forever chemicals in many water systems across the state, including several near Joint Base Lewis McCord. We spoke with concerned residents in Kitsap County in June who wanted to see change. I drank some pretty foul water in the Marine Corps and nothing like this. But they are concerned about passed on costs. The Washington Department of Health says its rough estimate for new infrastructure and treatment plants statewide is $1.6 billion. That number does not include costs to safely dispose the forever chemicals. The feds are offering $1 billion worth of grants nationwide. Nationwide and locally, several lawsuits have brought against companies that are responsible for some of this pollution. One by the state attorney general is still working its way through the courts. Reporting from Sammamish, Erica Zuko, King 5 News. And this comes just a week after a judge finalized a $10 billion settlement with the industrial company 3M over PFAS. 3M used the chemicals for decades to make products like cookware and clothing. The company will pay out billions to more than 12,000 water systems nationwide starting this year.